Good morning. good morning. It's good to see everybody in the house of the Lord today. It's good to be in the house of the Lord today. We've got some uh, some announcements to make. Uh, just get us. Here's one that's not reflected in the bulletin. This is from the Dade County, uh, Georgia official website. And on August 21st uh, at 9:30 at the Dade County Senior Citizen, they're going to uh, celebrate National Senior Citizens Day. There's a flyer out on the the big table. Now, I know that thing has a name, but I don't know what that big table out there is. But anyway, this is out there, okay? So uh, you look and uh, pick that up as you go. And so they're not a nursery today. I saw a sign that said, we're all going to sing today. So evidently, even the little bitty people are going to sing today. Uh, no King's Kids or Youth Group today. Men's Bible study in the Parsonage, Monday, August 12th at 6.30. Ladies' prayer group, conference room, Monday, August 12th at 6.30. And the preacher group will meet Wednesday, August 21st at 6 p.m. And, um, and uh, we're thinking about starting an online Zoom Bible study. This would be for both men and women of all ages. Uh, our retired pastors, Keith and John, would discuss the homework scriptures, and anyone would be welcome to comment, ask questions, or listen. If you'd like to explore this possibility and help determine the best day or time for this, please send John an email, and that email is printed in your bulletin. Uh, keep your bulletin. And on the back of it, you will find a current prayer list, people that we are praying for that this church has brought to to attention, so make that part of your prayer discipline, your daily prayer. Pray for these people. Um, we also have uh, membership and baptism preparations available with the pastor. Just talk to me, see me, call me, and we'll put together time for that. Colin, you'll say something about the yellow cards. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to all the visitors. Uh, we got yellow cards in the queues if you want to fill those out. That way we can uh, get in touch with you and let you know what our ministry has to offer. If we can do anything to help you, please let us know. I got one more announcement, Reese. It didn't make the bulletin. We are doing um, pictures for the upcoming um, directory. Andrew is going to help us out with those. Next Sunday will be the first one. There's a sign-up sheet in the narthex. We're going to do it every other Sunday through the middle of September. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do it every other Sunday through the middle of September. Middle of September. Okay. Um, if you have a prayer request or a joy that needs announcing, please write it down on a blue card that's in your pew and uh, put it in the offering plate. And that becomes part of our prayer list of, of folks that we're praying for, things that we're praying for. Um, any joys today? Anybody have a joy? Nothing good happened this week. Yeah. Okay. Battlefield line design showed up this week and made us three more handicapped parking spaces. Praise the Lord. The biggest joy was she called about an hour or so later and she said, uh, I'm not going to send y'all a bill for that. Really? But she said, I would like for you to put us on your prayer list so that the prayers are going to be worth more to us than the money. Praise the Lord. So she didn't say what particular need or, but anyway. So, in, in a trade off for handicapped parking places, we can make a trade for we need to make sure that's in our bulletin next week. So, so uh, that's that's good news. Uh, I, I got it, some joy to share. Pardon? I got some joy to share. Okay. My baby granddaughter is in her trimester, and she's absolutely perfect according to the doctor's last test. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anybody else have a joy? I do. All right. Okay, but that means road trip, right? All right. Good stuff. Beautiful things happening today. Anybody else have joy? Angie? Uh, 
So praise the Lord for that. So uh, here's one, here's a joy. We're coming today to celebrate Tom Pound's 93rd birthday. <laughs> 92nd. 92nd. <laughs> it was Tom's birthday this week. Anybody else have a birthday? Oh, you want to come up? So there we go. Come. You've been doing this since you were a little bitty, so you just come on up. Tom, would you like to come up? No, uh, thank you. Come on. Who else? There we go. Woo! Look at this. I'm telling you. It's a good looking crew. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. If you're ready. As Buzz reads this scripture, there's three things or a few things I'd like to point out really quickly because I'm not going to preach today because y'all didn't come to hear a preacher, you came to hear singers today. Um, but in this scripture, it says, No one can come to Jesus unless drawn by the Father, and that Jesus will raise that person up on the last day. And everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to Jesus. And whoever believes in Jesus has eternal life. And that Jesus is the living bread that came down from heaven. And whoever eats of this bread will live forever. Now, I don't know about you. That's good news. Amen. Amen. Buzz, would you read it to us? Then turn, turn to page 701 in your hymn. Please stand as you're able for the reading of the scripture. This is John 6, verses 35 and 41 through 51 from the NIV. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. At this, the Jews there began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? whose mother and father we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one who has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I give for life for the world. Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Page 701 in your hymnal. When we all get to heaven.
page 821 in your hymnal, join with me and then be prepared on page 881 for the Apostles' Creed. Let me ask a question while we turn to this. How many of you, this was the first psalm that you ever learned? It was the first one that I learned. And uh, my first grade teacher taught it to us, that in the 23rd Psalm. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord who made us is God. We are the Lord's. We are the people of God. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving and God's courts with praise. Give thanks and bless God's name. For the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. God's faithfulness to all generations. And don't you forget it. Okay. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Church, the peace of the Lord be with you. Would you move about and wish each other the peace of the Lord?
It is so good to be in the house of the Lord. It's so good to receive the Lord and His blessings for us. Uh, these wonderful scriptures. That, you know, basically, if you believe in Christ, you will call to believe in Christ. That is a great assurance to me. And so, uh, as we come today to worship the Lord, understand that our giving is a form of worship as well. Because it is an imitation of God's giving to us, God sacrificed for us of His Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So if you prepare an offering for the Lord. minute to get our prayer cards together and but the choir is going to be kicking off our singing in just a minute so I'm just going to have to go through these like they are. The prayer requests are for Teresa Powell. Please pray for Teresa. Uh, please pray for Joe D'Agostino that his test results come back good. Joe's had some troubling indications on a test that he's had so pray for Joe. Uh, healing. Michelle Kitts, possible ALS diagnosis, and John Walker has lung cancer. Pray for them when you pray. Uh, Jet Wilson, Colin's friend, five year old son, uh, is lifelike to what, Chattanooga? Atlanta. Atlanta. So, so pray for, pray for Jet. Um, my mom had an infection on her left leg and doing better. So uh, she's going back to the doctor. So pray with Michelle for Phyllis. Pray for her. Keep in your prayers, Joy D and Lewis Price. And so uh, uh, you know, you pretty much know that Lewis is coming to the end of things, and so. Pray for Joey D. and Lewis. Um, Sam Rogers family. We'll be doing, I'll be doing Sam Rogers 
uh, memorial service tonight at Payne's Chapel, Payne Cemetery, Payne Cemetery at seven o'clock. So, um, known, Sam, known Sam's family ever since I've been in this neighborhood, and uh, Sam's a good man, and uh, we're going to miss him. Madeline Foster and family, Clara asked that we would pray for them and pray for Maggie Martin, able to find God again. So, Thank you, Claire, for that. Uh, Robert says, a joy for Battlefield Line Design Company. They ask that we pray for them, so we make them part of our prayer. So pray for them. Let's bow our heads. <clears throat> Mighty God, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. Lord, help us to always understand that it's a conversation with you. It's a conversation where... We need to be honest because you already know the thoughts of our hearts and our minds. Lord, we bring to your attention the suffering of our friends and our neighbors, our church mates. We ask God that you would be with them. We would even be so bold as to ask that you would heal. But Lord, we also know that your grace and your power and your authority goes far beyond our mere physical life. God, we thank you for the promise of eternal life, and we thank you for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we pray and as we lift these people up to you in prayer, we know that you know their fears, their happiness, their troubles, their sorrows, and Lord, we pray that you would be with them in your mighty spirit to comfort them and to lead them and guide them through these times. Lord, as we pray today, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your love for each of them and each of us, a love so great that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever would believe in him would not perish, but have eternal life. We thank you, God, for this freedom that you have given us, a freedom above all the fears of this world. It's in Christ's name we pray, as we pray, as he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You would the 103rd all day sing.
had a meeting of the hymnals, but everybody's favorite children read books, so um, those are in the, the pew. I am going to open up and read something from John Wesley, and John, you did this a few years ago, and I really appreciate this, but um, John Wesley's Directions for Singing is in, a, is in the hymnal. Um, learn these tunes before you learn any others. Afterwards, learn them as many as you please. Sing them exactly as they are printed here without altering many of them at all. If you've learned to sing them otherwise, unlearn it as soon as you can. <laughs> sing all. See that you join with the congregation as frequently as you can. Let not a slight degree of weakness or weariness hinder you. If it is across you to you, take it up and you'll find a blessing. This one's really important. Sing lustfully and sing with good courage. Beware of singing as if you were half asleep, but lift up your voice with strength. Be no more afraid of your voice now, nor ashamed of it being heard than when you sung the song of Satan. Sing modestly, do not fall, lest you be overheard, or distinct from the rest of the congregation, that you may not destroy the harmony, but scratch and sound your voices together, as to make one clear melody of sound. Sing in time, whenever the time is sung, be sure to keep up with it. Do not run before, nor stay behind it, but attempt to the leading voices, and move their lips as exactly as you can. Take care not to sing too slow. This drawing way naturally steals on all of our ladies, and in high time to grab it out from us. Sing our teams just as quick as we did at first. And last but not least, sing spiritually. Have an eye to God in every word you sing, and you believe in Him more than yourself or any other creature. In order to do this, attend strictly to the sense of what you sing, and see that your heart is not carried away with the sound, but offered to God continually. So shall your singing be such that the Lord will approve here and reward you when he comes to the class of heaven. So keep that in mind as we sing today. Um, let's get it started. Sharon, do you care to come up and lead one? And then we'll probably get the kids' choirs up there. Sure, baby. It's a lot of stretch, and I guess we've got all that. <laughs>
Feel free to get right behind. 